you haven't already added your name um, to the agenda, like I am doing right now. All right, and I'll share my screen so we can follow along. Hopefully this is the right one. I think it is. <clears throat> uh, so we've got some badging updates on the DEI.MD file for our own project. Just uh, opening that up. Yeah, so one of the thoughts was that kind of as if Enoch will be able to give his a bit of an overview today of how things are going for him on kind of the badging processes that um, we would create, this is our own chaos DEI.MD file, like for the chaos project. So this is not a new DEI.MD file. Daniel, I just want to be real clear. This is not <laughs> some some new file that's being created. This is a, um, a Google Doc that I put together just this morning um, that, that I thought we could put into our own repository and run the process against just to see kind of how it works logistically for folks. I know we have a, a couple other projects who have expressed interest in kind of putting together a DEI.MD file. You know what I mean? Elizabeth had reached out to some folks um, and heard back several months ago. Um, and so I think they're still working on that, but I thought we could kind of do it ourselves and just kind of see how that goes. Um, R Ruth, I had chatted with Ruth about it and she thought that was a good idea as well. So my thought was, is maybe we could take a look at the document that you have up there, Sean, really fast. Yeah. And kind of think about things that, that, we do as the chaos project. So, so if we were going to, we're filling this out for ourselves. It's sort of like a eat your own dog food. Correct. Correct. Thing. And so that's what this is. And so, um, you know, we so, could look at it here or we could take a look at it kind of asynchronously. Either is fine with me. I think maybe let's just take a quick read through here, like take five and, um, Yeah, that sounds fine with me. So you'd have to be at this, in this, the only, my only hesitation was you have to be kind of familiar with what we're doing in the chaos project. Uh, yeah. To be able to fill this out. And not everybody on this call maybe is yeah. completely familiar with all the things that we're doing in the chaos yeah, project. That's a fair point. So, you know, if people have a chance to look this over asynchronously, this would be the, DEI.MD file that we would create for the chaos project. Mm -hmm. there. That's right. Matt. And maybe I thought we could maybe tag Elizabeth, mm -hmm. Anita. I know you've had kind of a you know a lot of involvement. Basayo, I think you have too. Precious, I know you have as well. I mean, I guess there are several people. So are, you know, are there things on here that you all might want to highlight? In particular, number three. On page two, the newcomer experience. I was wondering if there are a few, few things that you might want to draw forward, Precious, Basayo, or Anita. And you can just put comments in, in the document as well, if that works for you. And asynchronous comments. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Basayo. Um, okay. Uh, is it number three in this document we're looking at? Yeah. Yep. Okay. This number three? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking a look now. I could leave comments. And sorry, what should the comments be about? Or are we, are we to add something? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we should probably change what? these from numbers to... Um, so yeah, say one thing. Yeah, I was one thing I was going to say is having multiple number sets is confusing. Why don't, why don't you just do that? Um, yeah. So Basayo on on the newcomer experience, you know, at the top of the second page, you see there's four points currently there right now. So Sean, scroll down just a little bit. Oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot I was screen sharing. <laughs> 
So, um, so right now, Basayo, there's like kind of three points that were highlighted with respect to the newcomer experience and the chaos project. And so if there are other things that you know of that we're doing, just add it to that list of those, those currently three points right there. Okay, I'll do that. That would be yeah. great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, so the intention, uh, Enoch, I see you're on. I think the intention here, Enoch, and everybody is to kind of get this hopefully finalized maybe towards the end of the week. It doesn't have to be perfect, I don't think, like in terms of everything that we do, because we can continue to update that. This document is also just to help in the, the overall badging process. So, okay. All right. Uh, that was right. it for That's that. Good. Yep. And come back over here. So I think chaos can be a pilot project. I think it's uh, sets a sets a good example. Mm -hmm. um, and then just I guess a few notes on the dei.md file itself, not the one for the chaos project. Um, but I've been incorporating uh, feedback from folks at GitLab to build out the dei.md file, which has really been helpful in terms of. Um, kind of thinking through what some suggestions could be on those four particular metrics. Uh, so we've updated the, the DEI.MD file to reflect those changes. So Daniel and all the folks at GitLab, thank you for that. Um, and then also at the end of the DEI.MD file, there was a kind of a declaration on how, um, like su a support, a few suggestions on how to uh, show your DEI.MD file in your particular repository. I reworked that a little bit to be uh, more platform agnostic, just because other platforms have <laughs> expressed an interest in this as well. Uh, yeah. And so uh, that has also been incorporated into the DEI.MD file. And I, Daniel, I think I did share that with you as well. Um, so that's now in the, the main DEI.md file. So nothing in the file has changed, just kind of updating those suggestions as well as some creating some agnosticism, if that's the word, at the end of the file as to how you should uh, prepare and present your DEI.md file. Yeah, Daniel. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'll have more feedback once I kind of work more on GitLab's own DEI file. Um, okay. But it's good to it's good to see the chaos one as kind of an example, like stepping away from the template and looking at like a real world example is really good. And I think the first thing that kind of stands out to me is if you're a contributor and you come across this file, you might not know like what it is or what it means. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe having some sort of link back to like what, the purpose of the DEI um, project badging is um, or like an introduction statement about it, like, you know, what, what this initiative is and what the purpose of the file is um, before getting into the project's own file, just as yeah. sort of like an intro. That's a great idea. Um, I really, I really like that idea. So I think that could go, Sean, go back to the, just the chaos example for now, just because that's readily available on the minutes. Yeah. So like scroll up to the top, Daniel, I'm thinking like somewhere at the very, very top that would say like this, this file is associated with this larger badging project badging in initiative, which is aimed at helping project center DEI within the work that they do something along those lines with the link back. I, I really like that idea because like your point's well taken it, there could be uh, a community member who comes across this file and they're like, what, what, what does this have to do with, with anything? So point well taken. Um, I will, I will draft that in kind of a statement and then share it in the respective channels where feedback can be provided. Um, Anita said, can we also reference example DEI.md files? I'm not sure how to do this yet, because 
Um, one of the things I think that has been kind of talked about from GitLab, folks at GitLab, Anita, is ways to help other to help projects see other projects dei.mb files just to to help kind of elevate that um and i think this is kind of what you're referring to here is that correct um yeah so maybe in the general dei.mb template we can just attach at the bottom links to projects that have an existing dei that md file so that just like um we um, brought about the chaos own and um, a lot of persons are who mm -hmm. see it as a good reference and so when they're putting up theirs they can just refer back to a real life example of how the template should look like that's a good idea their project too. so we could you know one of the things anita that we were doing like the work that enoch is doing is keeping a list kind of like what we do for event badging of projects that have received a DEI badge. And on the template, we could put kind of like at the bottom, like for a list of currently badged projects, and then we could just point them back to that list. And from there, they could discover how other projects put together their DEI.md file. Do you think that would work? Yeah, I think that should do. Okay, that's a great idea. All right. Um, we don't, one of the things, okay, so I'm going back to the minutes here. So AI include, link back, link back to, um, yeah, so Sean, I'm back in the minutes at this point. Okay. Um, so AI is to link back to the project dis project badging discussion in the template. Provide context on what the DEI.mb file is, and then also link to batch projects. So um, Maybe at the top, I don't know. Not sure. Okay, that's great. Um, I, I don't think, um, yeah, Daniel. I just one more thought. Maybe this is maybe for like a later iteration down the road. But if there is like a kind of like a community page about the DEI project badging overall, like you know where, wherever that's hosted, and it could have you know the explanation of what the project is, like a nice list of all the projects that have been badged, so you could easily see them. Um, just kind of like a landing page that goes over everything you want to know about project badging. Yeah, and actually, I think we had you're talking about like that link that could be like that um, that link back to discussion and the templates maybe cover everything. Right, like discussion yeah. and, every, and all the resources for like getting started, getting um, you know yep. seeing the template, and then the list of projects that have been bad, so you can get inspiration ideas. Um, yep. Maybe like a separate list for projects that want to help help you like get your own project started if you know they're willing to share their ideas and things like that. Again, this is, I know that's a lot of stuff and that's probably for later iterations. But... No, actually, I think this is exactly what Enoch has been working on. So just point, pointing back to pointing back to that would be, a, it's also where, at least for the time being, projects could apply. Um, but as part of that application process, it includes everything you're talking about. Like, why would you apply? What do the templates look like? How can this help you? Um, what are the list of projects? So um, if Enoch has a, an update, um, we can take a look at that right now. I don't know, if Enoch, if you're available. I know he's here to be available. 
Yeah, I, I am just having hey. issues with my Zoom as usual. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you want to put a link in chat and have me navigate to it? Pardon? A link to? Yeah. Uh, if, if you, if I don't know if we want to share any of the figures or links or anything. Oh, I will leave I it to you, Enoch. You go. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, no, I just I, I just wasn't sure about what link you're saying. Yeah, um, uh, they are things that um, we are working on to make sure that um, at least um, like uh, Murphy was trying to say, um, if someone is new to this di.md file, there could be issues with understanding what this is all about. And I think um, from the front end perspective, there has been um, uh, at least some, a whole page that's been dedicated to making sure that um, there is an explanation for what this file is. And well, I think that could also be linked to very many other places where this di.md file may happen to be, um, to be, to be showcased like on um, repositories or in the emails or maybe even um, in the reports that are that have been um, gotten. I do not I do not I'm finding issues of what to on what to actually um, 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 how should I call it um, to present because um, the whole Okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just getting. You know, I may have lost you. Do not tell. Enoch, are you there? Enoch. Hmm. Well, um, I can I can share a few updates while Enoch is out. Um, okay. the, the, uh, the Chaos Africa team is working on a design and um, we need to talk to uh, Sarah because I think there might be a competing design um, in play right now so we're trying to sort that out and Enoch is um, also working on getting the email to send okay. from the server so that's that's kind of the update and I think um, Enoch and um, Ruth are going to reach out to Sarah to clarify the, the next design objectives okay um, with the competing design I, this is the first I've heard of that would yeah it it was ambiguous to the folks who were assembled for our technical meeting earlier. Okay. So, um, you know, it's almost like, I guess, a bit of a rumor <laughs> to spread it uh, because I, I don't fully understand it. And so, uh, and Ruth wasn't able to be at that meeting. So I kind of want to get her take on it before I okay. jump into conclusions. Okay. And Enoch may have a little bit more to share there, but um, not if he can't connect voice okay does does any oh i see anax reconnecting does anybody on the call right here have a link i think the the work that enoch has been doing and others um like kingsley as well um does anybody have a link to that web page that they've been working on i was on it in an earlier call. Um, so I have, this isn't much. Um, okay. This is a Figma um, graph. Hey, you Enoch, know, you're back. Just interrupting to make sure. Oh yeah, if you're back, I, go for you're it. You're back, go ahead. Okay, yeah, I was, I was asking whether, um, I can have some sharing, right? So I was trying yes, to share. Yes, you should be able to share. I'll make you co-host just to double. I can't do that, but 
I was able to share, and I'm not the host, so. Oh, I'll make you co-host. You should be good. Oh yeah. yeah Go ahead, yeah. Enoch. Um, so I was um. Um, the, the the front end team is working on making um a list of uh, the, the just three things. Uh, the just three things I want to highlight. Um, okay. one is um. The front end team is working on something um, like uh, this that will have a list of um, repositories that are budged, but okay. well, it's not yet it's not yet integrated. But the API is already um, ready. And earlier on, I was trying to share what kind of information will be included into this um, this um, table. And once a project gets budged, there will be an option to view that page publicly here. Um, and also the other thing I was talking about is there will be reference, at least in very many cases, of what the DEI project is all about, because um, there is a ton of information that is that, that has been put together by the content team. So if, if someone has, has ability to access this information at least it it tries to explain what um, the DEI file and the project is really all about we are trying to make sure that this page is referenced in um, at least in the emails and also in the markdown files or where this project may be um, showcased in public so that there is less confusion of what this is all about well, I am not sure, like Murphy was saying, how this will um, be effective into addressing um, into into addressing um, the fact that someone finds dei.md file in a repository, and they are not sure what it means. But maybe we can also put it as part of the dei.md file template to yes. link to this particular um, page because it has a ton of information Agreed. on how that works. I think that's, yeah. I, I agree. So this, I put in the chat, I think, you know, thanks for sharing this. This will address, I think, Daniel and Anita's comment. Yeah, and um, I don't know what you put in the chat, but this is um, the link, the link I put in the chat um, takes you straight to the page I was trying to share. Um, so we're trying to see how we populate that um, link almost in um, places where we think a user may have issues with finding what di.md file is all about and what the project really means. Okay. Yeah. Um, so those are two that issues. That didn't load. It doesn't matter, but. Oh, the well. badging that all in that open source doesn't load. Um, the one that oh, you yeah. just shared. Yeah, for me, it's it's an all white page for the DEI oh. badge. <laughs> that looks like uh, my my guess is that somebody is um, working on it right now. Could be because um, uh, I loaded it a while ago and it was already an open tab, so I just switched to it. So let me ask a question then, Enoch. So you know those, um, those Figma pages that I've been seeing? Like Sean put it in the chat. Um, and those Figma pages are what I think Kingsley talked about a lot last week as well. So Sean, could you bring those up really fast? Yeah. Um, can you try that other link? I'll try it again. That last one? Yeah, it's, it's working now. Yeah, it looks like I shared the wrong link. I think someone just made changes previously. Okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's always it, helpful when people are good. making changes like randomly. So then, so there's this page. Yeah, now it works for me too. And then there's Enoch in the chat, I'll put it in there. It's this is what Sh Sean had shared, and this is the the page I had seen. That Figma page, you know, what I'm talking about. Yeah, if it's you click in up. the chat, you'll share it. Yeah. 
So what's yeah, the um, what is that? Okay. So the, the Figma diagrams are design artifacts, so they're not intended to be functional pages. Oh. Um, they are really a blueprint for what the functional page implementer is going to implement to be circular. <laughs> that, yeah, so it's like it's not it's not a, it's just it's a graphic design. The Figma page That's is a okay. graphic design for the actual functioning web page. Um, but how's that different than the page I'm looking at currently? Page you're looking at currently is uh, a live web page. Okay, um, I get it. It's loaded. Um, so I think um, um, what what Sean has shared are Figma files that are actually being integrated into um, the new design. There was a previous design that um, just got a little bit of overhaul after uh, interactions with Sarah. Okay. And um, that is what is being translated um, into what I just shared. So the link okay. I shared is a link to the live page, but okay. um, there are some changes that are being made on it that are that are similar to what Sean is sharing in the Figma file. Okay. So um, you will see some of those changes happening um, in within these days. There was already something, but after some interactions about the design, some things were 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 changed. And okay. that is what, what's happening. But the links won't change to the pages. It's just the okay. content and some some um, look outlook of the whole um, of the whole um, website. Okay. But, so, there, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. so there won't be necessarily a page, Sean, go back once, like this page. I think Enoch's sharing or right Enoch. now. Oh, Enoch, wait. Enoch, sorry. Um, where do you want me to go back? Just the prior page. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So there's this page, which kind of describes badging and all that kind of stuff. And the, yep. the Figma page also describes badging, but we're not going to have both of those pages. Is that correct? We'll only have one of them. So what I'm sharing, so, yeah. what I'm sharing here is the Figma file. Yeah, exactly. And this Figma file is exactly how it's going to look like in the website. So um, this here is what I've just shared with you. So ah, this is in the Figma I file. See. I see, I see. So this is a Figma file, but it's already intuitive. Ah, you okay. can navigate. I understand now. Thank you for, I got you. Yeah, so this is a design and um, this is the implementation. I see, I'm sorry. So if you clicked, so the, so the, if you go back to the Figma file really fast. They almost look similar, but um, mm -hmm. um, they're different things. Okay, so, so this is the if you click on home right there in the Figma yeah. file, it mm -hmm. looks like that. And then on the yeah. web page, is there going to be a home page that looks like that? So this is now the deployed um, website. If you go to home, this is how it looks like. I see. Okay, so so the answer is, okay, you're helping me a lot. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was... <laughs> I was so if you so You're if I can great. just share this in the comments section. Super helpful. Thank you. So the the website is um, deployed at that um, URL. OK. And we'll yeah. have to, OK. Yeah, and we'll currently. Update, update a few things like, OK, anyway. Yeah, and, no, that's great. And, Thank you. and currently, if you navigate here um, to get started, and log okay. in with GitHub. Um, it will log you in and do everything like this is in live production. And then you can search for any file you want to budge right now. Um, and when you click on it and submit, it will, um, well, this is still in um, development, like I said, but it will submit your budge for, it will submit your repo for budging. And um, you should get an email in your in your inbox um, that um, looks like something like this. Okay. Yeah. So um, also this is um, is just like um, how stuff looks like on bare bones, but this is being changed to look like uh, this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so currently when you go through that process, you will have an email that looks like this with information 
for me, um, the email, the, the repository I submitted in was already bugged, so that's why I have such information that we couldn't okay. issue the badge because um, blah, blah, blah was already bugged. Okay. Yeah. So um, this is like in production and it's already working. Um, if you can test it out with any repository that you have access to. This is great. Um, yeah. I'm curious uh, what Daniel is thinking right now, right now. Like feedback, um, feedback. And before, 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 yeah, sure. before, yeah, Dan sure. before Daniel gives feedback, um, 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 one of the changes that you may see um, is um, how this flow is. Um, there could be some few changes into into where you go to after you've. Um, sorry, I need to like submit. There could be changes into the whole flow of which page you go to or where you direct you are redirected after um, uh, submissions. But there is really a um, few things that will change in the whole implementation. It's just the redirecting to what page that may change. So yeah. Um, that's it. And um, just in case you have chance and you think you have like a test dei.md file, I will put a link onto where you can test your dei.md yeah, right file. Right, right now, now the right apply now. thing isn't, the get started is not working. Like login with GitHub isn't working. Okay. Um, uh, did you go to, okay. Sean, you. Oh, there we go. Uh, Getting, I am getting some weird results now. Um, okay. Now it's getting results. It, like it took a while. Yeah, could be my server is having low resources. And then, um, yeah, the badge more repos. <laughs> it has that text that was cut off that we identified in the previous meeting. Yeah, I'll I'll be curious about what um, experience um, everyone is having. But well, I need to now hear from um, maybe the rest of the team because um, currently I'm doing more of fine tuning and listening from the user's end onto things that we may have missed out during the implementations that may be useful for um, the success or for the expectations of this whole project. So back to you, Matt. Okay, uh, Enoch, as always, like, thank you for everything that you're doing and thanks to the entire team. Uh, I know the amount of work that you've put into this from what feels like a long, long time ago uh, is, it's just been a journey, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so coming, thank you for that. Coming forward. Um, I think it's been a year, hasn't it? At least, yes. <laughs> Yeah, almost. Yeah. Uh, Sean, Sean, do you have any success on to? I think you've been trying out um, the whole process. Yeah, um, I did. I it's it's not bringing up all the repos I have access to. It's a little sluggish. I can I can share okay. my experience if you want. All right, all right. Um, I don't know whether we have time, and I don't want to hijack the meeting. But yeah, um, we don't I'm need to do this. A separate call. Yeah, I can yeah. I can uh, chat with you after this. So sure. you just hang out on Zoom and I can show you. I am. All right. Um, just push that. Yeah. So, yes, Mark. Um, well, I was going to ask Daniel if he had, because Daniel's from GitLab. And so just kind of his reaction to kind of what he's seeing here. I don't know if you've seen all of this prior, Daniel. Um, I, I think I'd seen the mock-up at least prior, okay. the Figma mock-up, but uh, not live page um and yeah this is kind of what i was talking about with having like a community page with all the info about the project itself and then how to apply and how to view other projects that are doing so um i think this this looks great um i didn't know if there is a specific place to drop feedback um or, or you know suggestions on anything here and i'm sure this is still you know work in progress i see that the the template file link doesn't go anywhere. Um, so maybe that link's yeah. just not added yet, things like that. But if there's if there's a place to drop feedback, 
uh, let me know. Yeah, I think I think Elizabeth once mentioned that there was a way we could collect feedback from um, the pilot tests. I'm just not sure how that ended. Maybe March, you have an idea. Uh, just that we have the we have a, we do have a badging channel, Daniel. Uh, okay. Or even in the DEI, I think even just honestly in this DEI workgroup channel, if you have feedback. And is, is this site uh, sorry? Is this site open source and accepting contributions? Good question. Yep. I think so. Uh, Mar yeah, March. I think I'm, uh, that's a good question because um, uh, in the earlier stages we were this was really closed, and then um, we transitioned into having this um, showcased publicly over the chaos meetings. Uh, but mostly it's been the team that was working on it while it was private that is still working on it even while it's public. And um, we were of a view that um, we put out the, the first product into production and then we can let um, general contributions from the whole public. I'm not sure whether that changed, but um, uh, since there hasn't been delivery of the first product, um, it's mostly the initial team that's still working on the whole development of the whole okay. process. Um, so my my own personal opinion is that uh, this should yeah. be open source and any contributions at any time are yeah. welcome. And um, we've kind of had these discussions before, like there may not be what feels like a right time to open source something. Like I understand that there can be this time to work internally and then a time to transition to open. Like not everything starts in the open all the time. I understand mm -hmm. that. Um, and so um, kind of making that transition, I, I would suggest the sooner rather than later so that we can receive feedback and contributions and you know, working in the open too, like that doesn't mean that everything will just change immediately. We still have the entire process of, of review and acceptance and all that kind of stuff. So I, I would encourage the website and really all the artifacts associated with project badging to be located in that project badging folder that I just shared in chat. You know, the one on all in. Hmm. Yeah, well, well, I have no, I have no um, objection to that. I, um, I, I was just thinking that um, there could be things that, you know, you'd want to tick off before you, you have this project like, um, and now you're like, okay, I am now doing maintenance. There is nothing more to like get the project working at the basic level, which is mostly what we're doing right now. So um the the whole dev team was like um at least if we have the project working with the basics all inclusive, we can now be like, okay, we're open to suggestions because yeah, we now think things won't break or we now see that the project is already running at the basic level yeah i mean i i would i would just say now um i think you've all been open to suggestions the entire time whether through like this meeting or through the badging channel you know on slack yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so i mean you've always been open to suggestions and very open and sharing the work that you've been doing and so having it available on a repository really doesn't seem to change anything that you've been doing all along anyway. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I'm so open to, to the open source contributions because we can even get better ideas and better yeah. ways of implementation. Yeah. yeah. As as long as it's um what um the contribution, why not? I would yeah, I would really encourage your team to to move the repository if it's yeah. private out into the open and just work there. Sure. Okay. Well, coming back to the old agenda. Thank, um, thank you again, Enoch, and all your team. Yes, for sure. You're welcome. Um, the The only Moodle update is that I'm searching uh, discussion boards for setting up user registration. It's uh, not been intuitive, but I've been actively searching on it. Okay. Um, 
So just to give some some updates for folks here, one of the things that we're doing in in chaos is we have chaos Africa. We have new chapters starting in Latin America, as well as the Balkans. And one of the things that uh, Sela and Christy and Ruth have kind of been talking about is a slide deck that does a couple things. One, it supports kind of a discussion about what open source is just so people can kind of understand how to even engage with open source or why they might want to engage with open source. So there's kind of this, you know, step one, and we're calling it open source 101 or hello world open source. And so the slide deck that I have here um, is really intended for the first couple of slides to, to kind of demonstrate what open source is at a really high level. I think I mentioned this before, the, the slide deck that has been put together up until this point is very corporate centric. So that is my, my own, that's kind of where I have learned things. And so the, the first set of slides that Sean is going through, they're all blank. Yeah, the, yeah um, I, went through, I went to the end where it says break. Yep. And so this first set of slides through 27, like I said, I, I apologize and I understand my bias. Um, so there is a very corporate centric view on what open source is. And I'm sure a lot of people would have very different views on what open source is. And so any contributions as to those, to those other views is completely welcome. Um, and then the second part slides 29 through um, whatever towards the end um, I'm working with a few folks to find slide decks that would kind of, at first the, the slides were going to demonstrate, like, here's how you would participate in, like, pick a project. Okay, Daniel, no problem. Thank you. Um, th the slides would be like, here's here's how you pick a particular project to participate in, say, like, Node.js, like what Sean has here up on the screen. But I tried to put together a slide deck like slides 29 through 30, like how to participate in Node.js. And I'm like, that is really narrow. That's, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, or think... how to participate in Augur or how to participate in what you pick the project. They're all going to be so uniquely different. And so Ruth had a really good idea. And I think she has some slides, which is like, how do you as a person think through the types of projects you would like to participate in and what are the characteristics of a project that are meaningful to you to participate in that project? See what I'm saying? So it, mm -hmm. it backs out of looking at a particular project and kind of puts more of the questions to the person going through the class about what are the things that are important to them when thinking about participating in open source. And I, I'm really, I think Ruth has a slide deck on this and um, trying to track it down. And then we would use that slide deck that she has put together from like after the break there. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just making a note in the comments there. Yep. So it's a really good idea. So anyway, I'm still working on this. Again, if you would like to participate in this, that would be great. Love to have you participate in this. Um, so that's it. That's the update on that. And hopefully we'll have that done in the next few weeks or so. Well, we've got about two and a half minutes left on the old uh, DEI clock. If there's any other business that um, anyone would like to bring forward. Otherwise, I'm happy to return two minutes to your lives. All good. All right. Well, thanks for Thank joining, you. everybody. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Okay, see y'all later.